Welcome everybody to the first annual Church of Dinoology Halloween Dino Awards, sponsored by Rungni. Introducing your host for this evening, Climbing Stop! You know, when Rugney asked me to host these awards, I was flattered. And I said, what, you couldn't find anybody better? <laughs> they told me that Adam Andra did agree to host the awards, but they told him he couldn't wear his giraffe costume because it was too distracting. Turns out, he wasn't wearing a costume, he just had a hickey on his neck. <laughs> Anyway, they always say it's best to start these type of things off with a joke. So here's one for you. What do you call a pro climber who doesn't live in a van? A homeless person. <laughs> well, we have a bunch of awards to get through tonight, so let's start with our first category, Best Dino, as voted by the members of the Church of Dinoology. Our first nominee is How Static Climber See Us by Skate Dino, performing a beautiful Lache Dino. So obviously the joke here is that Static Climber See Us Dinoist has a bunch of clowns, but honestly, I'd still rather be a clown than a, than a Static Climber, let's be honest. Also, who leaves boxes teetering on the top of a bouldering wall like that? I know that has nothing to do with the, uh, this award ceremony, but uh, come on, route setters. I guarantee you that route setter is a static climber. <laughs> anyway, moving on to our next nominee in the best dino category, we have Mario Sens by Exploshi performing a wicked traverse dino. Wow, it's really nice to see, you know, Mario taking a break from work to do some dinos for this dino comp. But uh, in all seriousness, the, the toilet's clogged. So get back to work. <laughs> yeah, you guys like that one? Did they think that one was funny? You would, you elitist pricks. Anyway, let's move on to our next nominee. The next nominee for best dino is Jesus Dino by, by Titty Titties. That's right, Jesus loved some good old titty titties. What, am I, am I not allowed to say that? He was a man, right? Everybody loves some titty titties. Grow up, grow up, all of you. Our next nominee is Ghost Dino by Oh My Goodness, A Goose. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the winner of the user voted best dino is none other than Jesus Dino. This wasn't even a close race. Jesus won with a whopping 69 votes. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Jesus loved 69ing. Congratulations Skate Dino on winning a free three pack of Magdust courtesy of Rungni. Do you have anything you'd like to say while accepting your award? No. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next category, best dino as chosen by me. Uh, none of you guys. Uh, this is the category where I completely ignore your guys' terrible decisions and actually pick the real best dino. Our first nominee is Avocado Meets Running Dino by Jaron Climbs, where he performs a beautiful Traverse Dino. You know, the first thing I thought when I saw this was, is this a costume of an avocado or Jada Smith's bald ass head? Am I right? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't even a nice one. 
Moving on to our next nominee, we have Dr. Jekyll and his secret formula by Gekin Man performing a flawless ricochet paddle dino. Well, it looks like his secret formula really works. Maybe next year, he'll give some of it to Adam Andra before the Olympics. <laughs> For our next nominee, we have Let Me Light Up Your Dinos by Intense Goat performing a massive vertical dino on a glow-in-the-dark wall. Not only was this a great dino, but his porn star construction worker costume was so good, he actually got quite a few votes for best costume as well. And now it's time for our final nominee in the best dino category, Blessed Barefoot Dino by James Fontaine. <laughs> Not only a great costume and a great dino, but it also grants the blessing of athlete's foot to anyone who tries it after. And now it's time for the winner of my favorite dino in this Halloween costume contest. The winner is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Not only was this my favorite dino, but it was actually my second favorite costume as well. So probably all around the best post for this comp. Big round of applause for Dr. Jekyll. Do you have anything you'd like to say before you accept your award? For the church. Thank you, Dr. Jekyll. Before we move on to our next category, I would like to say an honorable mention in the best dino category, Sean Raherm. Sean busted out this absolutely massive dino. This dino was absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, Sean decided to upload it before I made the announcement that you had to be in costume, so he kind of got screwed over. Sorry, Sean. Uh, that's just the way things go. Now, I've got a quick question for everyone in the audience here. Who here wears Rungni apparel? Exactly. Now, as we all know, Rungni makes top-of-the-line athletic apparel that is also the most fashionable. And I know a lot of you are looking at me saying, yeah, that's easy for you to say. You're all dressed up all fancy. You could never look that good in Rungni apparel. Well, guess what? Everything I'm wearing, for the most part, is Rungni apparel. These pants? Wait, what's that? They're anchor pants? Rungni's super stretchy, super comfortable, super fashionable climbing pants. And I know you might be sitting there thinking, okay, sure, the pants are rung me. What about your shirt? That, that fancy, fancy collared shirt you're wearing right now. Oh, I'm gonna knock this mic off. I knew it. Well, this shirt is none other than rung me's zip up athletic long sleeve. But you might be thinking, oh, okay, you can't wear a dress shirt unless you have a, an undershirt on, right? You gotta you got have something to wear underneath it. Well, what if I were to tell you that underneath this fancy, comfortable athletic shirt, we also have Rungni's sloper tee. There are an infinite number of combinations of Rungni apparel that will keep you looking good and feeling good on that rock wall. So use code DINO, everybody. Get 15% off your entire order. Your entire, the whole thing. You get 15% off. All right, let's get back to the awards. Now I think it's time to move on to our next category, Best Costume, as voted by the members of the Church of Dinoology. Our first nominee, Bowser and Peach, Daddy Daughter Dino. <laughs> go! Go, Bowser, go! <laughs> and it only took him 10 minutes to actually do the dino, but Bowser is a turtle. So, kind of makes sense. Our next nominee is probably the most topical post we got for the entire competition. We have the Smurf Cat Dino by XY DiGiorno. Oh. 
I guess you guys really like Smurf Cat. This got a, a bunch of a bunch of votes. So uh, you know, Smurf Cat's popping off right now. Somebody did ask in the comments how many Smurf berries is one Dino worth. Uh, this is this is incorrect information. Smurf Cat does not eat Smurf berries, right? Smurfs eat Smurf berries. Smurf Cat actually eats Smurfs. Kind of dark, but that's the way it is. Now our next nominee is the polar opposite of the last one. This one is Gumby the Gumby Dino by uh, Ryan. I actually had to look this one up because as far as I'm concerned, Gumby is a rock climbing term. I did not know that there was some little green asshole shaped like a can opener that was actually the original Gumby. And apparently this is actually where the term for Gumby comes from. Uh, apparently this guy is so stupid and so annoying that they decided to name stupid and annoying rock climbers after him. <laughs> not a joke, just some information. And our final nominee for the best costume is the Dino Dino by Queasy Caregiver. Now, some of you might be thinking that dinoing in a dino costume can be a bit dangerous, but you know what they say, Jurassic times call for Jurassic measures. What was wrong with that one? All right, guys, don't be a bunch of dino sore losers. All right, fuck all of you. The winner of the dino best costume as voted by the people is Bowser and Peach Daddy Daughter Dino. Wait, I'm getting information. Apparently, Peach uploaded her own dino and completely ratioed Bowser. This means the actual winner of the best costume as voted by the users is Princess Peach and her individual dino. Congratulations, Princess Peach. Uh, is there anything that you'd like to say before accepting your award to all the Hollywood elite that are sitting here today? Wow, th th that was pretty rough. Now it's time for our next category, best costume as chosen by me. Ignoring your votes, your bad decisions, all me, best dino. Our first nominee is No Face by Lance Lotario. No face, more like butter face, because Damn boy, he fit! Anyway, moving on to our next nominee, we have Waluigi by Your Local Climber. Our next nominee is no other than Baby Skeleton Creeper by Natural Brain. A baby creeper? Now that's a diaper I wouldn't want to change. Because <laughs> those shits are explosive. <laughs> I know you like that one, Mark. Seriously though, you, you clogged the toilet. Mario's still in there. <laughs> and the final nominee for best costume is Old Greg by Ducky the Scientist. And I gotta say, this one, uh, they, they didn't leave anything behind. This is the most put together costume I've probably ever seen. They got everything. I mean, everything. And now it's time to decide the winner 
of the best costume contest decided by me. And you know, I actually, I had a little bit of trouble deciding on who I wanted to vote for this one. Make an assessment. All right, the winner of best costume as decided by me is none other than Old Grey. Congratulations, Old Greg, on winning your free three pack of Magdust. Is there anything you'd like to say while accepting your award? I know what you're thinking. Here comes Old Greg. He's a scaly manfish. You don't know me. You don't know what I got. Thank you, Old Greg. Hopefully, we'll see you again next year. Uh, great costumes, great costume contest, but we still have another category to get through the best attempt. Now, when I designed the best attempt category, the plan was for it to be the funniest fail, essentially. But I didn't want to call it funniest fail because I know some of you idiots would go out there and intentionally fail and break your neck or something stupid like that, and I would be liable. So I left it vague so that if some of you happen to upload a funny fail or a good attempt, I could give you the award. But nobody uploaded a funny fail. So instead, I've decided to change this category to most creative, just best all around. And this is a no-brainer. There are no nominees. This was, there, there's one dino that stood out above all the rest. The Totoro Dino by Cry Hard, Try Harder. Congratulations, Cry Hard, Try Harder, on winning your free three pack of Magdust. Those are all of our categories, but we do have one special surprise left for everyone that decided to show up tonight. The secret category, who wore it best? As you all know, this entire event has been sponsored by Rugby. Thank you, thank you. And I decided to wear my favorite anchor pants. So now it's time for who wore it best, me or Magnus? Well, obviously this one's a no brainer. We don't even need to count the votes. I win. Uh, who wore best for the Lonely Anchor Pants? Big round of applause for me, everybody. <laughs> Uh-oh, meatball. 